the HLB handicap chase is next. That's a 0 to 140 this time. I think we've got 13 runners for this. And the contract's at the top for Greg Beck with Little Rock Kingdom. Vinnie Gerard, New Year's Day, Martin Lidham, change for the better Joshua Sutherland, Crucial Elsie, and Noctolian Robin for James Shea, Fistek, Leon Van Rensburg, Kate Vinci, Derek Hinton, Tower Hamlet for Graham Clutterbuck, Fearless and winning, oh, Fearless for Paul Parsons, winning Brillant for Alex Cherry, vanishing for Paul Parsons, and Vermod for Alex Cherry. So 13 then. Holding and away. Racing uphill towards the first fence, the one pulling for its head is Kate Vinci the Great. Oh, Derek Hinton, but it's Tower Outlets that's gone on for Graham Clutterbuck. With Fistek back in third, and the rest of them pretty much in a bunch. Quite a long one to the first. And a Tower Outlets is almost certainly going to be the one to lead them into it. Winning Brillant is getting closer. So to his fist deck change for the better is next as they get to the first. And they're all safely over the first. And quickly into the second. All safely over that as well, although the grey on the inside fearless has now dropped to the back. Or is it vanishing? <laughs> it's difficult to tell. I think it's. I can't tell anyway. They get over that ditch, and I can tell now, and it's definitely vanishing. Anyway, it's Tower Hamlet's in front from Noctolian Robin second. And William Berlant is back in third. Let's change for the better and the contract. Fistek is after that one. Oh, Tower Hamlets went right into that one, and that's going to be trouble because these are the railway fences and difficult to get away with a mistake at the first one. But he's managed it, the leader, Tower Hamlets, but he's surrendered the lead just about. A second there to change for the better on the outside, but now Tower Hamlets has gone back on again. So Tower Hamlets is back into the lead. From change for the better, winning Brillant fist tick, and then Noctolian Robin New Year's Day and Little Rock Kingdom in a line with Case Vinci on the in the rail, the grey being tracked by the contract, then Fearless on the outside, vanishing the other greys getting a little bit closer with the third of the greys Vermod, and then the back marker is now Crucial Elsie as they take the pond fence. For the first time, they've got another circuit to go yet. They race into the straight shortly, where they'll take two, the second of which is a ditch. And then head out and do it all again. Over the eighth they go. And Tower Amlets is clear by five. This will be the last next time round. And we'll safely over it. Although vanishing is beginning to struggle at the back. So currently past the winning post, they've got a circuit ahead of them. And it's Tower Amlets who's clear in the lead by about four lengths or so to Fearless who's moved into second. Then Fistek, Noctolian, and Robin Case Vinci has moved back through again. Then change for the better Little Rock Kingdom is next. William Brown on the rail, wider on the track, Crucial Elsie. Then the contract New Year's Day has lost its place and dropped towards the back with Vermod. And vanishing is somewhere adrift of the rest of them. We may get a look at him as I take this turn, but no, he's so far behind we're not even going to get to see him from that angle. But it's Tower Hamlets who's going to lead that on. He's been pulled up at the back. Vanishing, vanishing has been pulled up. So Tower Hamlets is going to lead him into the back straight in the lead. He's leading by a couple of lengths. If Fistek in second, Case Vinci is third, Fearless is in fourth, and Little Rock Kingdom. Winning Brillant on the rail. Change for the better and knocked Dolly and Robin behind them. The contract tucked in between. And the maroon jacket of New Year's Day. Crucial Elsie Ward on the track in the green and the grey Vermont. Just a back marker as the other grey, Kate Vinci, comes to take it up as they get to the first two and the double. Tower Hamlets has regained the lead. Fistek and Kate Vinci. Then Little Rock Kingdom, William Brillant and Fearless. With the contract change for the better off that New Year's Day now making some ground on the inside as they take this ditch, which they all get over nicely. And Tower Hamlets, Fistek, and Kate's Vinci. 
going to race into these railway fences. Not quite three in a line, but close to it. And Little Rock Kingdom is getting close to them as well as they get over the first of the railways. Really good jump there by New Year's Day, who's now getting into it. And one or two of them was jumps it quickly as well as they get over the third of the railways. And the race is on in earnest now as they head to the pond. It's Fist Tech in the lead from Little Rock Kingdom in second. Knocked only and Robin is third. Tower Amnitz is trying to run on again in fourth. Then comes Case Vinci, Crucial and Elsie. Change for the better is next. New Year's Day is trying to switch around to the outside. Vermod the Grey is making eye catching looking progress as they swing towards the pond then now but it's fish tech in the lead from little rock kingdom between the two of them tower amnitz knocked only and robin is next look at this vermont then comes contract and knocked only and robin is after that one as they head towards the pond fence the third last and fish tech gets over it in the lead lands clear of little rock kingdom in second the contract and vermont a third and fourth then trying to run on crucial obviously they're coming into the straight they've got two more fences to take and it's fish tech in the lead from in second place little rock kingdom vermont is back in third then comes the contract this is the second last the leader stood off it but got over it okay little rock kingdom is closing vermont is still there in third the contract is fourth this is the final fence the leader again was slow little rock kingdom jumped in better but fish tech still holds on to a lead fish tech looking strong on the running though fish tech despite those two slow jumps he's actually pulling away again little rock kingdom is trying to rally but it's got to be fish tech i think he's going to take it fish tech wins it little rock kingdom second the contract third then change for the better not building robin crucial elsie william Brillant. All the way back to the grey coats of Vinci. Probably found it a little bit too far. But it's a win for Leon van Rensburg and Fishtech. Temporarily at least stops the steamroller of Vinnie Gerard winning everything. And Fishtech takes it for Leon van Rensburg. Little Rock Kingdom second for Vinnie Gerard. The contract rag back with fourth. Change for the better for Joshua Southern was fourth. And Nocdolian Robin for James Shea went on to be fifth.